Hi guys, I've tried to film this video three times and everything that possibly could go wrong has gone wrong. So I'm gonna try and burn through this as quickly as possible. But uh, I wanna talk about fit shaming, which is a very real thing. Maybe you don't see it very often if you're not big on following fitness pages, which I'm assuming if you're here on my channel, you probably do follow a few fitness pages because this is my YouTube's about fitness, so. Um, but basically, I've gotten it a lot more recently. I've seen it a lot more on other people's pages recently in their comment sections or, you know, and that people send screenshots or send people messages or whatever of people telling women specifically, and men get it too by other guys, but I'm gonna talk about women because I'm a woman. <laughs> so, in the fitness industry, the reason you get the body that you want and the reason people look the way they do is because they spend hours and hours and hours and years of time in the gym, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, putting in so much effort into their body, into looking the way that they want to look, into feeling confident and being happy with themselves. And then to have someone come in and tear you down, tear it down till you, you look like shit, you look gross, like you look like a man or you're way too skinny or, you know, your diet is stupid and unhealthy and all this stuff. You're basically telling them they wasted years of their life or months and hours or whatever and that all that effort they put in was for nothing. And it's really fucked up because it's the same thing as fat shaming. You tell someone that they look like shit. Maybe they're in the gym, they're working on it, they're doing you know, everything they possibly can to lose weight and to feel better about themselves. Maybe they just dropped five pounds and they're feeling amazing and then you go on there and say something negative about their weight and it sucks, it's horrible, it's so mean. People are so disrespectful and I just want you guys to be aware and to think about people and people's feelings that we're all human, we're all just here trying to feel good about ourselves, trying to do something good with our lives. And if someone decides that lifting weights and putting on muscle or losing weight or gaining weight or whatever is what they want to do, then you have no right to tell that person that that's wrong. So take from this that you as a person need to put some perspective into what you're gonna say to someone. Look at their life from a different angle. Say, you see a woman who's put on a lot of muscle mass and she's very strong, very muscular, and you tell her like, that's gross, why would you wanna look like that? You know how many years that woman has put into working out? How confident she feels that she still puts on dresses and watches and jewelry and high heels and she looks great in those things and then you tell her she looks like a man and Maybe that's your opinion, but everyone has their opinions. Not everyone needs to state their opinions. Your personal opinion is fine. You can think whatever you want in your head, but you don't need to put it out there into the universe. The world's such a negative place and we don't need to put any more negativity out there. So be nice to people, you know, keep your negative thoughts to yourself. You don't need to be spewing garbage on everyone's pages or to people's faces or in their messages or whatever it may be. Just be nice. It's not that hard to just be kind and to, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And we've all been taught that since we were children. So if you still haven't caught on to it, I'm going to say it one more time for you. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Anyways, I'm going to show you a clip from my shoulder day. I know that my form on shoulders needs some work and every time I go in and do shoulders, I work on it. I do my movements a little bit slower. I really focus on the mind muscle connection and I'm trying to get better at it. There's a lot of swaying, which I didn't notice until I watched the video back, but I'm gonna play it anyways because this is a channel where I'm trying to teach you guys and trial and error is how you learn. So I'm still getting shoulders wrong. I'm still doing things wrong. Um, my form's not bad to the point where it's going to damage me in any way, but I need to work on being more still. So you'll see me swaying and 
It's also because I'm trying to lift heavier and if I was using like five pounds, it would be way easier and I wouldn't be moving as much. But because I went up to 12.5 for the um, hanging raises, for the leaning raises, and then for my front shoulder raises, um, I swayed a little bit more than usual. So I'm trying to put on mass for my caps. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys anyways, because like I said, trial and error. Um, if you have any questions or if you guys have video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoy the video. Have a good day guys. Remember, be nice to people. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town